Comparative advantage. The idea is super intuitive. Different countries or different people have different strengths, so they should specialize in producing the thing that they're better at producing. It's super easy. But doing the calculations in your econ class that's a lot harder. There's four things that your teacher or professor is gonna expect you to be able to do. First, you have to be able to calculate per unit opportunity cost. So how many planes cost how many cars given up? Second, you have to find out which country or individual has an absolute advantage. That's the easy one, just who's better at producing the product. Third, you have to be able to find the comparative advantage. That means comparing different countries, how much they're giving up, and finding the one that has the lower opportunity cost. And number four, you have to figure out the terms of trade, how many cars, for how many planes would benefit both country? How should they trade? Now, a minute long TikTok video like this is not gonna help you. You need to sit down and practice. So take a look at my hacks video or my comparative advantage practice video. And be sure to follow, like, and subscribe. And remember, if there's only one concept in unit one that's gonna mess you up, it's